one. Hey guys, this is Attila, ATTXLA, because X marks the spot all day, every day. And you are watching or listening to, depending on what you're doing, Shut Town Urban Radio. Thank you. It's your boy, Young Shot Town, man. What's going on, world? It's the big homie DJ JT the Darling. Girl, Alana D. Bridget Janae, aka Miss Lil Body. Hey, I'm Zaga Satanica. Tune in to Shy Town. Shy Town. Shy Town. Shy Town. Shy Town. Shy Town. I'm listening to Shy Town. Urban Radio on UBM Jams. Chicago Urban Radio. And the best place to be at on any day, really. I'm on. Tuesdays and Wednesdays on Q4 Radio at 16.80 a.m. Uh, I'm on Saturdays on 88.9 FM at 3 p.m. And then tonight, we're here. What is this? Is this downtown uh, Houston? Where, 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 where are we at right now? No, we are on Southeast. This is Southeast Houston. I still got to I'm, I'm, Well, I know the hood, but I got to learn, you know, how far the hoods go into and what, how, how everything else like that. It's cool. So uh, let's talk. Let's talk with my guy real quick, man. All right. Um, tell us, man, who you is and what you do. Tell my listeners, just in case, just in case, because you know some people are slow. Mm -hmm. Some people just don't understand. Sometimes they're, they're maybe at the time we came on, they were having sex, and now oh they're Lord. not. Oh my. Oh love. Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Um, greetings to everyone on Radio Land right now. Uh, my name is Attila. It is spelled A T T X L A because X marks the spot always, Ooh. all day, every day. Uh, I am a singer, songwriter, producer. Hope to be actor one day, entrepreneur. You know the whole bit. Working towards my album. Have an EP dropping in oh. August. Okay. So wait for that. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Now let's let's go back into a time machine. True. Where, where did it all begin? How did you know this is some music was something that you wanted to do? Well, uh, that's funny because uh, from the very beginning, it it was not music. It was medicine. An another M. <laughs> okay. It was it was you know being a, a doctor and, and that sort of thing, and that's kind of how I, I grew up. And I I actually said it myself. I said I wanted to be a doctor. I wanted to go to Harvard. I don't know why. I don't want to go to Harvard. I wanted to you know be a doctor and that kind of thing. Yeah. I got older and I started to discover that I loved just the rhythms and sounds and the way things in a repetitious way would just like kind of in like entrance me a little bit. Mm. And I kind of discovered music that way because I, I really wasn't into music at the time that much at all. Okay. Um, I had been exposed to it here and there, you know, with my mom. She would drive me in the car to try and put me to sleep and we'd be listening to Eric Badu and like uh, Les Nubian and... Jill Scott and mm. you know people like Elena Hathaway, people like that. Joe Sample, um, you know. And so that was kind of like my first exposure to music, any kind of music. Real. And it was it was just that. And uh, so as I got older, I kind of got more into different types of music. I still didn't sing at the time. I didn't make beats. I didn't have a computer until I was about 17, 16 okay. or seventeen. I had a laptop. Started making beats. They were terrible. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> and you gotta start somewhere, yeah. <laughs> and I, I started to get a little bit better here and there, and then um, I said, you know what? It needs a voice, you know. And yeah, I, yeah. I tried to sing, and let me tell you, I sounded like I was calling every last animal home onto the ark. <laughs> I could not sing at all. It was like yodeling more so than singing. Wow. So I enlisted into an opera class, uh, all of one semester. <laughs> And after that, I started kind of going with what I learned in that semester and building upon my own sound. And okay. Finally, started recording stuff, and here we are. Were you ever? Were you ever in choir? Hmm. Were you ever in choir? Oh. Never. Never in choir. Never sang in church. None never, of that. In, maybe in the shower. Sometimes in the shower. Mm -mm. Nothing. Mm -mm. Wow. That's Nothing. crazy. I didn't start singing literally until yeah. I was eighteen. Look, and I, and I'm twenty. <laughs> Wow! It took so, years and years of so, training. So when, <laughs> when I when I when I first met you, man, mm -hmm. um, like and, and I tell the story when I first met you, but um, you have good stage presence. Thank and you. And a lot of people don't understand the meaning of good stage presence because you don't even have to necessarily um, be the. I'm not gonna say the best singer, but you can wow people with the way you move and mm -hmm. about. And when feel when I tell you, he captured me. 
he captured me. I was like, yo. Mm. Look, I'm wishing I was there. And I was <laughs> that's something. Well, you can be there because they have another one coming up on the 12th at the oh, library. So, so you won't be there? At the, mm-hmm. at the library. So. And this one will be televised. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. well. Let's so, mm, check that, my poem. Oh, oh, <laughs> you got to see him in, in, in live in person, man. Thank it you, it doesn't do justice. Uh, what's, 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 I want to get people to know your songs. So okay. Let's go into one of your songs right now. Sure. Um, which ones would you like to play? So, Oh, well, definitely No Good. That oh seems good. to be the going thing right now. <laughs> is, that, is that your single? Mm, no, the single is actually What Are We, but it's a lot slower <laughs> than No Good. Um, you know, it, a lot of people don't really gravitate towards slow music that much anymore. I don't know why. I'm, I'm really into slow, vibey type music. Yes. Yeah. So most of my music is like mid-tempo to slow. Not really too much upbeat stuff. I do love upbeat music. I listen to n- almost nothing but mid-tempo to upbeat music. And yet I still come out with these very vibey, atmospheric, minimalist sometimes, mm-hmm. uh, minimalistic, sorry, sometimes uh, songs. And that's just how it happens for me. Okay. Would you like to introduce the song? Uh, like I said, the song is named No Good. It is about uh, basically a relationship falling apart and realizing that you're better as friends and no good as lovers. Ooh, Ooh, high five. Hey, man, hey, (laughs) this is Side Town of the Radio. Let's go. (laughs) Side Town of the Radio, the best place to be at on any day, really. It's your boy, DJ Malone. Right here at the core 94 in Houston, Texas, man. Yo, what I did was I played you three tracks. Now, you guys know that's not the usually genre that we play here. But I really love music. I'm a fan of all types of music. Uh, what, what you thought about it, Trish? Man, okay, so I ain't gonna lie. I was up here throwing some shade because I'm like, hi, man. <laughs> <laughs> this boy had no training <laughs> and on print on all three songs. You, you, I don't know she you see how she did on print? <laughs> on print. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you, when when you get caught off guard, you make up words sometimes, and print is the one right now. Um, but oh, I, I mean, I actually, I, I enjoyed it. Like he Thank said, you. I actually, I hear your inspirations in all your songs. I mean, you said, you know, Hathaway, mm. Erica Badu, mm. Jill Scott, mm. all of that all comes through. Oh, and I mean, it was just like, they're, they were similar, but they were all very different in the same way. Mm. You had, like you said, you had that mid-tempo mm. that... um. That actually, I mean, I might not look like I was paying attention, but I'm paying attention. I'm like, no, I was boo. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, okay, so what you know, that? Why your screen off? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I got a yeah. photographic memory, and I be saving stuff for stars. So let me ask you this, man: <laughs> what, what, what do you hope to see yourself in the next three years? Next three years? Oh, wow. Okay, well, I've been saying since I was like 16. By 17, I'll be here. By 18, I'll be here. By 19, I'll be here, and I'll kind of not lived up to any of that so in the next three years uh, i'll be 23 24 okay. 24 i'll be 24 can't count math is not my strong suit um at 24 i would like to be let's say doing a short tour opening for a big artist you know being able to attend the grammys maybe yeah. maybe 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 getting a nod you know yeah. like like you know might might not be um nominated for anything but i'm there might, might even get a little camera shot in the crowd. Real, real. That's you know? all that matters, just being in the building. That's all I'm saying. Espe- especially, um, what I, I hate seeing artists, you know, that are kind of new to the game, standing in the crowds, watching a great or a classic, you know, artist or um, someone who's really popular, and they're just kind of standing there like, like they're like they're hating. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? I'm that type of. I love your song. I'm gonna be th- throwing singing stuff with around, sing- singing, whipping my head, you know, flipping all up and down the road and everything, losing my mind. And if the camera get on me, I'm not gonna stop and make the Kanye face. I'm gonna keep on doing <laughs> it, Ooh. and I'm gonna let you know how much I love it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. that's just you know. Let, let, let me ask you this: Who would you like to work with all this while? Okay. Well, across the trellis. <laughs> that could be her. Well, she's in the building, so. You know, definitely. Yeah, I'm gonna say, I just gave him that call me easy. Mama, easy. <laughs> that is social. I'm gonna let you finish, but true to true. Yo, true to true has had the best <laughs> album of all time. All time. All time. All time. All time. All time. <laughs> 
But no, I, I would really love to work with, um, like, in, in dance music, I really love to work with Disclosure, because they're literally my favorite Deep House artists, okay. like, ever right now, and they're working with such wonderful vocalists, and I feel like I fit somewhere in between there. They introduced me to a couple of my favorite, my new favorite artists now. Um, I also would love to work with Nao. She's a UK uh, alternative R&B artist. Um, I would love to work with Willow, Willow Smith. She's amazing. And like Little Dragon, um, okay. Flume, just really FKA Twigs. Okay. But yeah, a lot of I have a lot of different you know tastes. Yeah, in music I all mean over you, you pull from everywhere mm-hmm. like that. Hey, that's what it is. I'm really into Swedish artists right now. So like Kate Boy, Robin, I am am I who am I? So you like to expand? I like that. Mm-hmm. I like right. when people like you know you just don't want to stay in one box. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So so um. Producer wise, who would you like to work with? Oh, okay. So, like, Disclosure is our, produ- you know, Disclosure is a, a group of two brothers, um, Guy and Lawrence. They are, you know, producers. So, them, definitely. Um, Timbaland has been a dream to okay. me. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Tim- I, I swear. Because I, yes. he, he feeds oh. into that, like, rhythmic mm-hmm. pleasure that I get from music. You know, he's like the king of, of rhythms and, and pulling from organic sounds mm-hmm. and, you know, creating just these really nice hitting beats but with like a nice natural swing to it yeah. and it's very like in your face and but at the same time classy if you will yeah so yeah t- definitely Timbaland um Pharrell Williams very okay. sleek production uh Will I Am I'm I've been in love with the Black Eyed Peas for years <laughs> right. so I, yeah <laughs> I've had my you know love hate relationship with Will I Am but, but yeah <laughs> Will I Am <laughs> Okay, definitely. All right, I see you. I see you. Okay, let me ask you a real question. Though. Sure, sure. When you go into the studio, mm. do you ever go in saying, I'm going to make a hit, or it's just whatever happens, happens? It's somewhere in between there. <laughs> <laughs> I try not to go in there with um, such like a high standard of, hey, I'm going to do exactly this, and it's going to come out exactly like this because I know myself, and I'll probably try to achieve that. When I don't, I will get very frustrated, and I'll waste real, time, real. waste money, You know, I'm not, so I'm not going to do that. Um, but I'm also not going to go in there and be like, okay, whatever happens, happens, because I am spending that money. I am spending that time out of my life and, and you know, I'm taking time away from my family and time away from my, you know, education. Because a lot yeah, of things yeah. are pulling at me at the same time. Right. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I, it shows dedication, maybe not to, you know, people closest to me just yet, but it shows dedication to the rest of the world and the people I'm working with in the studio that I respect that time and that I would do with it what, you know, I came there to do. Real. So it's yeah, like I said, it's somewhere in between that. But it normally comes out just the way it's supposed to, and I'm very blessed to have it happen that way. Okay, definitely. Let me ask you a real deep question. Well, if you could be any animal, what would it be and why? Oh, oh god, I love this question. Um, oh god, I'm so terrible. I'm probably gonna say something stupid. Um, <laughs> don't, don't don't worry about the about the five thousand listeners listening right now. Don't worry about them right now. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Um. Oh Lord. What? Okay, I'm gonna stay with the first thing that's on the line right now—a giraffe. No. A giraffe. Oh. Okay, that's interesting. And why? Because I feel like sometimes I'm not—I'm not tall enough, but then I feel like I'm too tall. But I also feel like I'm that one person in the group that has all these like random spots all over them. Like I'm—I'm I'm the one that stands out. But I'm trying so hard not to stand out. But that makes me stand out more. And every now and again, I, I have like a tiny, I really do not have a temper. I do not have a bad temper. I do not get angry easily at all. But if I'm being petty mm-hmm. or shady, the little two little knobs on the top of the draft head, that's, that's me, that's me whipping, that's me whipping the shady people. Just, just, cow, just hitting people in the head. That's, that's me. So I'm like, I'm a draft. Yeah, I'm definitely a draft. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. okay. And that's my favorite print too. Draft okay. print. Favorite album. Ooh. Ooh, you, oh, I'm so mad for you asking me that. Um... You want you want me to spread it out like you know the best three or the best oh, five? <laughs> okay, um, best five, best five, best five. Kate Boy's album called One. Okay. I am and my who am I's album called Blue. Okay. Um, Little Dragon's album called Machine Dreams. Okay. Um, Sylvan Esso's album called Sylvan Esso, their self-titled first album, Immaculate. Um, ooh, Sam Smith in the Lonely Hour, immaculate album. That's real. Immaculate. Al- I saw him. I saw him. He was amazing. You saw him in person? Saw him. In- he was amazing. Amazing. Um, who else? Let me see. Uh, Erica Badu, Baduism. Mm-hmm. 
Um, let's see. Let's go like as mainstream as possible. <laughs> um, Beyonce is self-titled. Sorry. Um, it was so experimental for mainstream music, and I really just <laughs> connected with it for some reason because I love like the minimalistic, you know, experimental sounds. So probably yeah, those. And I, I bet you I'm gonna go home and be like, beating the crap out of myself because there's like that one album that I didn't say that I needed to say. Hey, it's all good though, man. <sighs> Hey, there, but there's some in this day of age. There's mm. so much good music out there in the world, man. That it's it's crazy. Like as a DJ, mm. it, it, I can pick so much stuff and just I can do nothing but itch yeah. from '80s, '70s, all the way up to now. So, mm. um, you know, it's music, man. Music mm. moves. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for music. Very, very true. Which, which brings me to my last one before we get into the break. Mm-hmm. It's it's a deep question. Mm. Where do you think you will be without music? Mm. There was no music in, in, in your life. Where do you think you'll be? Well, using music as sort of a therapy and a um and a way to communicate and express my, my feelings and um, how I'm able to visualize certain things. Um and, and, you know, creating environments and stuff like that in music, if I didn't have that as a coping, you know, mechanism or as a therapy, I'd probably not be here. For real. At this point, I probably wouldn't. Definitely, man. Hey, this is Side Town Number Radio. Hey, make sure you guys stay in tune, man. We're going to have the, I'm going to call it the strongest conversation ever. Because when we about to get into the cop situation, oh lord, oh man, it's about to hit the fan. I can and then we speak. got my my home girl right here, man. Girl, what, what's going on, baby? Girl, you just sitting there. Listen, I'm I'm here. I'm here. I'm listening to these Feeling amazing answers from Matilda. Like right, that's real. You know, real. like. Thank you. Give them Twitter where they can find you, bro, before we get into the mix. Okay, well, um, you can definitely follow me on Instagram at A-T-T-X-L-A, um, Snapchat, uh, T-H-E-H-U-N-281, so the Hun 281 um, Let's see, Twitter at the Attila Mosley, so T-H-E-H-T-T-I-L-A-M-O-S-E-L-Y, which is my full name. Uh, do not add me on Facebook. I'm such a dork. I'm just that I'm not as edgy as I am as an artist. So. <laughs> Don't try to bleed it. Okay. Well, yeah. just, hey man, uh, we about to go ahead and get oh, into God. the mix. D- guest DJ DJ Willie T man. Now, I want to start doing this every probably every third or fourth. So, since we're in Houston, I gotta pay tribute to the Houston culture and everything. And we're gonna make it all chopped and screwed music. You like chocolate food? I do, I sure do. Yes. Okay, definitely. DJ Willie T, take us out! Hey, 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 fuck boy. 2016 shit.